Now that you've made the excellent decision to take your chemistry studies further, balancing equations gets a little bit trickier because we're not just going to give you an outline and say balance it, we're going to give you a scenario, um, a situation and we're going to expect you to take that situation and write the balanced equation before you do anything else. So in this video we're going to be combining quite a lot of skills, you need to have your ionic formula sorted, your ionic compound sorted, you need to um, be able to write the word equation, follow that through, write the balanced symbol equation. Um, I'm going to do some examples for you here, if you want some more over my website, my workbooks have loads and loads of examples in there for you. Good luck guys! Barium 2 chloride, so we know that is plus 2, reacts with chlorine which we know is minus 1, reacts with sodium sulphate. Now we know sodium is plus 1 and we know sulphate is going to be minus 2. So barium chloride BaCl2 reacts with sodium sulfate Na2SO4 and then we're just going to get the ions switching place so we are going to get sodium chloride plus barium sulfate and then we're going to need to put a 2 in front of there and we're balanced. Aluminium is reacting with manganese 3, uh, 4 oxide, so that is a plus 3, that is a plus 4, that is a minus 2. So aluminium is with mangan manganese, manganese um, O2. We're going to get aluminium oxide, which is Al2O3, and then we're just going to get manganese left over at the end. Um, now if we're going to balance that, I'm going to need to put um, a 2 in front of there. I've got 3, I don't like that, so I'm going to put a 2 in front of there, which means I'm going to put a 3 in front of there, which means I need to change that to, to a 4, and then I need to put a 3 in front of there. If I'm balancing these equations too quickly for you, I mean this is basically how quickly you need to be able to balance them yourselves, go and check out my videos where um, on balancing equations where I do loads and loads and loads of these. You have to be able to write word equations, write symbol equations, and more importantly, you have to be able to balance them really, really quickly. Barium, which is plus two hydroxide, which is minus one sulfuric acid, so B A O. H2 plus sulfuric acid which is H2SO4 and um, we're going to get swapping of ions taking place again so we have BASO4 plus H2O um, now we need to balance that so we've got one sulfate, one sulfate, two hydrogens, uh, four hydrogens so I'm just going to need to put a two in front of there and then I think we're done. Potassium carbonate. Now potassium is plus one. Carbonate is minus two. Reacted with silver nitrate. Silver is plus one and nitrate is NO3 minus. So we have potassium carbonate K2CO3 plus silver nitrate AgNO3. Swapping over ions, we're going to get KNO3 plus Ag2CO3. Um, now we just need to balance it, and all we need to do is pop a 2 in front of there and a 2 in front of there. Aluminium is reacted with sulfuric acid. We are going to get aluminium sulfate. Now aluminium is plus 3, so sulfate is minus 2. So it's going to be Al2SO4 um, 3 plus hydrogen gas. Um, now if we balance that, I'm going to need a 2 in front of there going to need a 3 in front of there and a 3 in front of there. 
lead 2, so that makes that plus 2, that is NO3 minus, is reacted with potassium, which is plus 1, chlorine, which is minus 1, so that is PBNO3 uh, 2 plus KCl. Um, we're going to end up swapping ions, so we're going to get PBCl, um, that needs to be a 2 because lead is 2 plus, and then KNO3. Um, so we're going to need a 2 in front of there and a 2 in front of there. Magnesium carbonate, that is plus 2, that is minus 2, so MgCO3 plus HNO3 is going to give us, that has a minus charge in the nitrite ion, MgNO3 2 plus H2O plus carbon dioxide because if you remember back to key stage 3 this is just reacting a carbonate with an acid um, then I'm going to need to pop a 2 in front of there check everything else and I'm done sodium hydroxide NaOH is reacted with sulfuric acid um, what we're going to get is our iron swapping over. Now sodium is um, plus one, sulfate is minus two, so that is going to be Na2SO4 plus H2O. Um, I need two of those, then I'm going to need two of those, and I'm sorted. Hydrochloric acid is reacted with aluminium uh, hydroxide. Um, so we're going to get our iron swapping over, so we are going to get aluminium chloride and water. Um, now if we need to balance that, I need three chlorines, so I'm going to need a three in front of there, and we're done. Sodium hydroxide is reacted with copper to sulfate, um, so that is CuSO4, there should be a, a 2 in there. Um, then we end up with Na2SO4 plus CuOH2. Um, and then to balance it I need to pop a 2 in front of there. And we're done. Hydrofluoric acid, just like hydrochloric acid, is reacted with barium nitrate. So barium is going to be um, plus 2 nitrate, is NO3 minus. So that is BANO3. Two. Then we are going to get HNO3 plus barium fluoride. Um, to balance that, I need to pop a 2 in front of there, 2 in front of my nitric acid, and I'm done. Ammonia is reacted with oxygen. We are going to get nitrogen monoxide plus water. Um, right, to balance this one, I'm going to put a 3 in front of there and I'm going to put a 2 in front of there which means I'm going to need a 2 in front of there so that means I've got um, 5 oh, so it means I've got a horrible 2 and a half in front of there so 4, 5, 4 and 6 Okay, well done for making it to the end, guys. Some of those are really tricky, but this is such, such a vital skill for your chemistry studies.